Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Saturday morning, January 28th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for Brian Peters, who's off telling stories again somewhere this morning. We've got our own weather story to tell here. And while it's not as interesting as last weekend's weather story, we'll take it. Look at the jet stream, uh, first going up to about 35,000 feet where the big planes fly. You can see a big broad trough across much of the United States. High pressure ridging into California and the Pacific Northwest, but downstream of that we've just got a big trough. The uh, jet stream pushed well to the south now, extending all the way uh, from Southern California across northern Mexico through Texas and across southern Alabama. You may have noticed those high clouds today thanks to that jet stream. Uh, they've been suppressed a little bit to the south tonight and uh, early this morning as um, that jet stream sort of uh, slides further to the south as winds down there over um, 90 knots over much of that area. And you can see our next disturbance moving through Montana and the Dakotas. That's what we'll sort of deal uh, with in terms of a glancing shot uh, come uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night into Monday. We've been uh, looking at, you know, maybe we could shake some snow showers out of it, especially over northeast Alabama, but that possibility looks uh, nearly negligible. Uh, hardly any precipitation at all, and certainly not much in the way of snow. Let's go through time. This is the jet stream uh, early this morning, uh, showing that um, those winds over 100 knots over Alabama, up at about 300 millibars or somewhere um, around 35,000 feet. As we go through time, you can see that next disturbance sliding uh, out of the northern plains into the Midwest. It slides through the Ohio Valley as we go through the day tomorrow. It might trigger a few showers, uh, mainly to the northeast of us, where they could fall as snow, but for us here in Alabama, um, it should continue to be mainly dry through the weekend. As we go on through the week, you can see that a trough begins to lift out to the northeast. Uh, slowly, the trough lifts to the north in general over the United States. That ridge over the southwestern United States begins to build across the southern U.S., and as it does, um, we get sort of a flat ridge over us. You can see the next storm system there in the Gulf of Alaska uh, beginning to come on shore in the Pacific Northwest, and we'll deal with that system as we go toward next weekend. High pressure centered over the western United States, 1,049 millibars. That's a big high-pressure system. And uh, it will dominate their weather for the next couple of days. And you can see mainly in, uh, in the temperatures. Temperatures uh, over the uh, Intermountain region, uh, the Colorado Rockies into Wyoming, Idaho, parts of Nevada and Utah. Uh, very chilly uh, early this morning. Temperatures below zero in some of the normally colder locations there from northern New Mexico into western Colorado. You can even see uh, some cold temperatures in California. Uh, 30s, uh, quite common. Frost advisories for parts of the central coast on this Saturday morning. Um, as we look uh, at the uh, GFS um, uh, depiction of what sort of uh, rainfall we'll receive over the next several days, you can see as we go through time, a few of the showers showing up uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night to our northeast, West Virginia, uh, eastern Kentucky, into eastern Tennessee. They'll see some snow showers in that area, but uh, it's going to be hard to get those into Alabama. Another system moving through the Great Lakes uh, toward midweek. And uh, then as we go through time, our next system begins to develop by Thursday night into Friday to the north of us around the Ohio Valley. It'll slide into our area Friday night with a few showers, and then we'll uh, see another wave developing and a better chance for rain as we move into the weekend. This is early Sunday morning, showers uh, spreading all the way uh, from eastern Kentucky through western Tennessee back into the Arklatex. That system will uh, push into Alabama uh, during the day and into the overnight hours on Sunday. And uh, we could see about a half inch of rain, but unfortunately, as I look out through the next two weeks, that's about all the rain we're going to see. So any progress we've made recently on the uh, drought will um, sort of come to a halt over the next two weeks. Looking at radars early this morning, you see some showers there in South Texas. Um, those showers uh, pushing to the east, but they're not going to affect us. You go up to the northeast, that's where all the action is, lake effect snows uh, in those uh, lake effect uh, snow belt regions of New York. Um, a close-in look at that shows uh, radar early this morning uh, with uh, bands of snow moving off the Great Lakes. And um, we've got um, lake effect snow advisories and warnings well into uh, New York. Some of the deepest uh, penetration of winter, or at least uh, lake effect snow advisories that I've ever seen. Winter weather advisories in northern 
uh, New Hampshire also winter weather advisories in southern Pennsylvania, uh, extreme eastern uh, or ex- extreme western Maryland, and uh, the Panhandle of West Virginia. Lots of flood warnings out there um, uh, from all the recent rainfall across the southern United States and the Midwest. In the Pacific Northwest, the trouble is air stagnation with that big high pressure system. Uh, air stagnation advisories dot much of the west. You've got uh, high wind warnings in the Los Angeles area thanks to Santa Ana winds that will be gusting to 40 to 50 miles an hour today. But the good news is usually when you see those Santa Ana winds, you see fire associated with them. And that's just not going to be a problem because of all the recent rains that they've received. That's your Weather Extreme video for this early Saturday morning. I'll be back tomorrow with one more edition. Brian will be back next week. But I hope you have a great Saturday. It's going to be uh, dry and cool, high temperatures in the lower and middle 50s. So stay warm if you're heading out uh, across the area today to do any activities. And um, you can expect that same uh, weather tomorrow on Sunday when we'll be back to see you. Thanks, and uh, have a great day. God bless.